Welcome to Doug Does Stuff. I'm Doug, and today we're doing a John Deere 445 and a Cyclone Rake XL, and we're going to try to marry them together. Here's my problem. Take a walk around the back of the tractor with me. We've got, when you go to mount these, uh, these are the brackets that come with it, the 90 degree, they sell a 45 degree, they sell a bunch of different ones. Uh, 445 doesn't have a, a back, so there's nowhere to attach it. You could put it on the plate right here, but those two brackets right there for the MC519 get in the way. Um, so I can't. It's also a little bit too low. It's supposed to be 10 to 14 inches, uh, the bracket. And I, I think that's like 8. So your, your cyclone rate tilts down. So the plan is to make my own bracket. Uh, they sell a three-point hitch adapter. To go with the cyclone rake but then i gotta buy a new hose that's a little bit longer and i don't want to do that and i hate doing buying stuff when i can just make it the three-point hitch is about 140 uh, dollars right now in 2024 uh, plus shipping plus tax all that good stuff so here's our plan we're going to put a bracket coming out this way and then this way and we're going to use this as the cross member um and that's that we're going to go take the tractor into the garage uh, where my welder is and uh, we're going to get this going. So stick around. Uh, hopefully this turns out the way I'm envisioning it and uh, let's go. All right, we've made it to the garage and here's the plan. It's going to look something like this coming off this way, a little angle back and the plate across and I'm talking about right over, oh great, uh, over here. So this right here, right where this little is, this little angle, I can fit a piece of quarter in steel in there. We're going to come out and then go across. So uh, that's the plan. Let me get everything set up, start cutting, and uh, away we go. All right, here we are. Uh, we got our quarter-inch stock. I just happened to have it laying around, which is great. Um Look at that. It's like perfect. Matches right up with that. So here's the plan. We're going to cut five inches, five inches, and then two three inch pieces. And we're going to start to build, I don't know if you can see this, we're going to start to build this. This arm right here coming off the back of the tractor. Uh, once we get that done, we are going to attach the original bracket in the middle there. It doesn't get in the way of the three-point hitch. I already kind of looked at it, but I'm going to double check once I get it built. And uh, all right, uh, so I was using the angle grinder down there and uh, you know, not the easiest thing in the world. Let me try and level this camera a little bit. There we go. Uh, so I brought out the old uh, Hercules uh, cutoff wheel. Forgot I had it. Um, anyway, uh, there's my first or my second piece. I think I'm going to grab this one down here. It's cool enough. And uh, we're going to square them up a little bit here. Make them uh, the same length. Uh, just because, you know, I like things to be nice. So, uh, yeah, that's where I'm at. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to cut the two three-inch pieces right now. And then I'll go back and I'll square everything up so it's the same size. You can see on the first one. Maybe. There you are. Uh, I wandered a little bit with the uh, angle grinder. So this is a little short. I think, you know, I'll square it off on both sides. I might end up like four and seven eighths of an inch, but it's not a big deal. Um, so, yeah, so that's where I'm at. Uh, hit the pause button and uh, come back, uh, you know, in an instant for you and probably 20 minutes for me. Actually, I was just thinking about it. I think I'll take you along on my last cut here um, so you can see the process. Uh, I'm sure I'm sure if you're looking to do this you probably know what you're doing but if not this is not a guide this is just me trying to figure it out myself all right so we're gonna measure whoo warm three inches all right we're gonna do a little mark mark here all right take that away we're gonna See, so I got to cut on that side of the line. All right, line this bad boy up. 
in there. Warm to the touch, by the way. Hey, make sure you don't pull the trigger when you put your fingers down here. Oh, look at that, perfect. So now we're going to hold that down, tighten that up. All right, this gets loud, and you got to go slow. If you try and press this thing through, what I found is that it uh, it wanders a little bit. So you got to go nice and slow, take your time, and you'll get, you know, a pretty straight cut. Um, so here we go. watch out for hot flying steel uh, I took one to the lip right there even though I got my safety goggles on or my glasses um, yeah still flying around so you just gotta be careful anyway so this is gonna be hot but whew, you can see it is pretty good it's pretty close so actually I'm just gonna clean those two up right now the ones that fell on the floor that you saw vibrate off I'm gonna get those to be the same length and uh, all right so I got now I got a half inch of steel I have to cut through. So this I'm gonna go really, really slow um, with this to cut through it. Um, and then when I'm done with that, I'm gonna clean everything up. These ended up being pretty darn close. Uh, they look pretty good. Come on, focus. They look pretty good. I'll just clean them up on the grinding wheel, put a little chamfer in there for when I weld, and uh, go on to the next step. But yeah, this is uh, where I'm at. So I'm going to get these squared up to each other so they're approximately the same length. Uh, you know, this isn't rocket science. It's, it's close. All right, full disclosure. It didn't work as well as I wanted it to. I don't know if you can see that. But it does have a little bit of a bend in it. A little bit, it kind of angles out that way. Um, so, again... <coughs> yeah, excuse me. Uh, again... We're just going to take these, like I said, they're pretty close. Um, I'm going to clean them up on the grinding wheel and uh, go from there. So, uh, hold tight. And we're back. Uh, it's been about, you know, 10, 15 minutes. I got these all cleaned up. Got them uh, about the same width. I mean, they're pretty darn close. I cleaned up all the places where there's going to be a weld. Same thing on these. Uh, these are not as straight. Oh, gotta put them in the frame. Not as straight, but I got them all cleaned up. Oh, see, good thing I looked. I gotta go clean that side really quick. Uh, just doing it on the wire wheel, because that's, uh, you know, clean area to weld is better than a dirty area. All right, a little change of plans here. Um, I ended up cleaning these all the way up, uh, because I'm gonna paint it. So... While it's uh, all apart, it was probably easier to clean it up for the most part. After I get it welded up, I'll probably hit it with the uh, die grinder with a uh, wire wheel again, and then acetone it, prime it, all that good stuff. Uh, here's going to be the plan. Let me just show you visually. So we are going to going to go over to the tractor here in a second. But what I'm looking at is it's coming this way off the tractor, and then I'm going to put it like that. Um, I'm going to get it set up on the tractor, and then I'm going to tack weld it on the tractor. Uh, then I'm going to come back, I'll match up the other one, the same, and go from there. Alright, so that's the plan. Uh, I'm going to move you guys so you can see what I'm doing here. Uh, that's not going to work. Hit pause. Alright, I'm going to try to knock it in your way. Uh, but you know, no promises here. Uh, just, just will give you a visual of what we're doing. All right. So, like I said, there's that little bump that's going to be coming off of that. I have it. I wanted to go all the way back. I should have cut it at like six inches so that I had something to line up to. But uh, so is uh, you know I didn't. So I'm going to light it up with the front. Going to take this, and I just have a little. Uh, ah, 
Oh, that's my finger. Little clip there. Um, oh, come on, baby. All right. So this is gonna be this is gonna be a little bit challenging. All right. All right. Can't do it from this side. I gotta hit the pause button. All right. So it took some work, but I'm gonna take you off of here. Apologize. All right. So what we got is I needed my ground clamp anyway, so I put the ground on there. I had to have one in the back, and then I had a little C clamp that made this level um, to the ground. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and tack weld just something right there so it doesn't move. And then when I take it off, I will um, whoop. Yeah, there we go. Back up. Uh, after I tack weld it and take it off, I'll finish off the weld on it, and then I'll match it up to the other side and kind of go from there. So that's where we're at. I'm gonna I'm gonna stop here, give it a little weld. All right. It's been more than a few minutes, and uh, I got this welded up. I don't know if you can see these. Yeah, you can see these. Um, so I welded up the first one like I showed you on the tractor, and then the second one. <laughs> I got it all lined up. Um, what I did was I clamped them together, and then I used the C clamp and you know my little right angle gauge, and I got this lined up and this lined up as best as I could. And I went ahead and I tack welded it, took it apart, and I realized huh, that's the one I already tack welded. So you know another five ten minutes of uh, getting this um, back in order. And then I got it welded up. So now I have my two. Uh, these are going to go on the inside. And I think my next step is, now that these look good, I think I'm going to throw them back on the welding cable here. And I'm just going to finish these welds across to make sure they're strong. You know, not the best way. Uh, this is the better of the two. Um, you know, I'm using a Harbor Freight Titanium MIG-170. Um, I think quarter inch is... I'm using 3.0 wire, and I think I'm, I should be using 3.5, but I don't have any. So I got it turned up uh, pretty high to burn this thing. Anyway, uh, there's one weld right there. I put one on the bottom. I really don't want this thing to move. This is in uh, much better, much better weld than the other one. I'm going to clean them up, uh, of course, with some, you know, uh, flap disc and, and wire wheel. Let me show you the other one. Don't touch. Don't touch. Come on, baby. There we go. Yeah, you can see this one, no, not as good. Um, this, the wire was really giving me a hard time here. Come on, focus. Focus. Uh, I got welds everywhere. Um, that's not a crack. That's just a black line uh, in there. It's hard to see, but uh, there we go. Now it's better. Uh, anyway, so I got them welded up. We're going to clean them up. Um, and then from there, next step is put this. Probably got to cut it down. Put this going across the two um, that way, if you can see it. Going across uh, the two of those uh, to oh, that's loud. To bridge the gap there. Actually, I think what I you know just thinking about this. I think what I'm going to do is drill the holes in uh, those once they cool off, so that I can get it set up right. Cool. All right, I'm going to bring you in here and uh, just give you update. I got the holes drilled into my side supports. Uh, I got them kind of put in here as just, you know, mocking them up. Here's the the 90. I'm doing this. I'm hand-holding in here, so I apologize. This is going to fit perfectly from that support to that support right to the edge. Um like that just kind of fits right in there I think though what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use some more uh, of the stock I have run a bar across and I'll probably put another one across the bottom just to stabilize it maybe put some gussets in there uh, you know I want it strong as heck so uh, that's the plan I don't know let me stand up here uh, yeah I think that's what I'm going to do all right, so it's been uh, it's been 24 hours, just getting back to it finally, and let's talk about where we are. We are here. We made the bracket, got it all welded up. 
Uh, nothing a little grinding couldn't help. Except I was like, hey, you know what? I'm going to go a hair longer on this bar um, to make sure it fits. And then I didn't measure from here to here. So I spent the better part of this morning grinding the sides down to get it to get in here. And we're here. It's tight. Uh, I think what we're going to do is I'm going to level this. And then I'm going to get my punch and I'm going to make some punch marks so I can drill holes through the sides of the, um, the tractor there. And uh, yeah, so that's where I'm at. It's been, uh, you know, a long day of grinding and running out and doing errands. The one thing I decided not to do was I was going to put one across the bottom here. That's that that's strong as it is. Um, and when it's bolted in, it's not going to go anywhere. So uh, I already got it cut up. So if I do notice it, I can come back and just tack it on. But at this point, I don't think I need to. So that's where I'm at. Uh, I'm going to get this level. And I'm going to go from there. All right. Uh, okay. Hold your horses. All right, really quick, took a few minutes to get this set up. We are level across, we are level front to back, and then we are sticking out two and a quarter on each side. So I think what I need to do is go ahead at this point, mark my holes. I think I'm gonna paint marker them first. Actually, I'm going to draw across the top here so I don't need that mark. I'm going to paint there. And then same thing over here. And then same thing hmm, over here. All right, so now we're going to go in. Charge up the marker. Get over here. Same thing over here. All right. So, we're good. Uh, I'm going to take a punch and I'm going to try punching it while this is here, staying in place. But if it moves, I've got it marked. All right, check that out. Pretty good. Oh, let's see how high it is off the ground. So it's be anywhere between 10 and 14 inches. And we are at 12 and one quarter inch. So, sweet. On to the next. All right, here it is all installed. Uh, you can see that, I don't know, you can just see it. Look, it's there. It's nice and level coming off the back. The cyclone rake fits perfectly in there. And uh, all is good. So pretty happy with the way it came out. Uh, now to use it in the yard. All right. All right. So it's done and hooked up. We just got done cutting the yard in over two acres. And it worked great. And you can see that yeah how it's hooked up in there um let's take a quick walk around to the other side and uh yeah it worked great it was right on uh i don't know if it gives you a better but anyway yeah um hope this helps anybody who needs to hook it up and uh doesn't want to buy uh you know 100 200 dollar bracket from Cyclone Rake, make your own. It works great. Have a good one. Like and subscribe. Bye.